welcome back. In this video I finish off the exhaust system. So I did a fair bit of hunting and I was going to originally build my own mufflers but uh, I found these online. They're from uh, China and you know I wouldn't normally buy something like this for a build like this but I've got to be honest I bought a muffler from China for my trike and I was quite impressed with the quality and uh, I simply couldn't make something for anywhere near the price I got this for. So for around $70 Australian, that is amazing value. So I've gone with those, and I think they're going to look pretty good. So I'll just start on the right-hand side, uh, just to see what the fit's going to be like. And then once I do that, I do the same, and I fit the first muffler onto the left-hand side, because I want to be sure... That this side's done first only because it's got the shaft drive uh, it's gonna have the muffler sticking out a little bit further than than the minimum I need on the other side so I'm doing this first just to make sure I get them symmetrical so I've, I tidied up the merge collector give it a quick polish tack it into position and then once I got that far I um, add a few tacks just to make sure it stays into the right position and then I fully weld that merge collector on. And same as when I did the um, the header pipes is I tape it up, purge it properly, and uh, just progressively weld that completely. Now, to get into that tight gap was a bit of a challenge. So I've got a tiny um, TIG torch, and I took out the, the tungsten, which I normally use as 2.4 mil put in this one here, there's only one mil just to allow me to really get into that tight corner. So this is one of the last bits of the header and uh, that much smaller torch there just helped me a lot really, so very impressed with that. Once I got that far, I got the rear muffler, tried to position it to where I thought was a good fit and then I had to work out the last couple of bends to join up um, to the front so obviously from the merge collector there's two bends 15 degrees I had to cut them and I wanted it to be really close fit to the frame so it ended up being about five mils away which is pretty tight but I think it's going to be fine so again once I had it in position do a few tacks make sure it doesn't move because stainless uh, does expand quite a bit when you weld it so you need to have you know at least four tacks at 90 degrees so I did Four. on a couple of these I might have did a bit extra just to be sure just go around weld it all up as I said it was purged properly um, and this is what it looks like one side is done fully welded I, I'm really happy with that all I need to do now is just give it a quick polish so I fit it to the to the engine again just make sure it's going to fit properly put the muffler on and I think that's coming up awesome so with the left hand side done, I get into doing the right hand, so just make it identical, just put the muffler on here, and it's come up really good. Um, once I had both of those done, I wanted to make a custom bracket to support the exhaust itself, so I just cut a bit of sheet metal, uh, and then, as you'll see here, I wrap around a, a thin slice around the edges to make it look like it's cut out of one solid piece, so... I'll probably just paint this black when it's done but here I'm just knocking up what I need for the left hand side and the right hand side is slightly different because I need to do a workaround for the brake but I'll make it look pretty much uh, the same here it is ticked up and then what it looks like on the bike well it's a nice day today there's a few roos out in the backyard but um, I thought I'd do a bit of a walk around now to show you where I've got to with this project so here it is with a a, a distance view which gives you a bit of a look at where it's come so far so I've done the front end and the rear end the exhaust the tank and the seat and there was a fair bit of work that went into fitting that rear tire which is a 150 um, from here I'm getting to the bit which I've actually been looking forward to which is working on the engine so what I'm gonna do is I've got two further bikes I've got an old XJ650 and I've got an old XJ750. 
So I'll give you a quick look at those, and I'm going to use those for parts to build one really good engine in this. So what I'm planning to do is push the boundaries a bit, see what fits from a 750 to a 650. So um, this 650 is a non yix The 750 is a yix version. And I'm thinking of seeing if I could uh, put the crank from a 750 into this bike and then do a big bore kit. So if you're interested to see what fits and what doesn't fit, Stay tuned, there's going to be uh, a whole heap of detailed videos around the engine build and uh, what what I actually end up doing and what works and doesn't work. So here's the two other bikes. On the left there's the XJ650 and just in front is the police bike which is the 750. So uh, it's going to be interesting to pull these engines apart and just see what I can do with them. But uh, plenty more to go. I think it is starting to come together. It's starting to actually look like a bike now, and it actually rolls along quite nice. It's just so stocky looking. So um, mm. stay tuned. As I say, the next focus will be rebuilding this engine mm. and coming up with something a little bit different.